Hello and welcome. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short video. My name is Samantha Garrett and I'm one of the product specialists here at Pegasus Software and over the next five minutes or so I'm going to show you retrospective age data and creditor reporting that will be coming into the next release of Opera 3 and the advantages this will bring to Opera 3 users upon that release. The current debtors and creditors reports available within Opera 3 allow us to view the associated outstanding debt but as at today. So by that I mean we cannot view the debt retrospectively which means that I cannot look back at how the debt was at a specific date in the past. So the next release of Opera 3 will introduce new retrospective reports which can be run for a date in the past and it will show the data as it would have been at a specific date. These reports will be available as standard for Opera 3 sales and purchase ledgers. The existing Opera 2 and Opera 3 data structures already provide sufficient information to be able to reconstruct these retrospective debtors and creditors reports. Which means that current Opera 2 customers who upgrade to this release of Opera 3 will benefit from this enhancement straight away. They won't need to gradually build up data from the point of their upgrade onwards. However, it does depend on how long the customer is currently retaining their sales and purchase ledger transactions as can be defined in the set options for each of these applications. Okay. So let's have a look at the existing current age debtors report in Opera 3 and then we'll have a look at the new retrospective debtors report coming shortly. So we're going to go into the sales reports menu, pick up the debtors report, we'll say OK and we'll send it through to screen. And there we can see I've been presented with a list of the outstanding customer debts aged according to the length of time the debt has been outstanding. This existing debtors report and also the purchase ledger creditor report will remain unchanged in Opera 3. Many Opera 3 customers are perfectly happy with the way that these reports currently work and they will remain completely unaffected by these changes and they can simply continue producing the reports in exactly the same way as they do now. However, if I require to look back at a previous date, it might be that I'm perhaps using Opera 3's open period accounting functionality to post into a previous period I need to be able to rerun my debtors report as it was at that point in time. So let's minimise the current debtors report so we can compare with the new retrospective debtors report in a few moments. And we're going to go back into the sales reports menu and pick up retrospective debtors. Notice that there are now two new fields. The first, produce report as at. This field will always be enabled and mandatory and defaults to the current Opera 3 system date. However, it can be set to any date in the past but cannot have a date greater than the current Opera 3 system date. So note that the user will still be able to use this new form to run a report as at today. I'm going to say I'd like to rerun my debtors report as at the 31st of July 2010. And the second of the new fields is date of the last period end. This field will always be disabled and will default to the date the user performed their last sales ledger period end. It is used to identify whether a historical as at report still falls within the current sales ledger period, which is essential for handling advanced postings. So if we click OK and we'll send this report through to screen, there we can see I've been presented with my retrospective debtors report as at the 31st of the 7th 2010. So by entering that date, this report has run as if it had been run on the 31st of July 2010. This means that it's only included transactions, invoices, credits, receipts, plus allocations dated before the 31st of July 2010. So if we minimise this report as well, we can see that the figures are significantly different to the debtors report we ran as at today. All of these functions are available within the purchase ledger. So if we close these reports down and we'll go into the purchase ledger reports, however, this time we're going to pick up the coming soon retrospective creditors report. I'm going to choose to Produce this report again as it was at the 31st of July 2010 and we'll say OK. And notice that we can also choose to output both of these reports directly to Excel as opposed to printing them. So we'll give it a file name. 
I've asked it to open the document when done, we'll hit publish and there we can see it's popped the retrospective creditors report out into Excel and it's been run as it was at the end of July. So to conclude, Opera 3's retrospective reporting provides accurate, realistic figures of your debtors and creditors at a specific point in time. It is exceptionally beneficial when using Opera 3's open period accounting functionality which allows us to post into previous periods in a controlled manner. It allows us to rerun a debtor's report for example at the end of last month or perhaps for a further previous period but more importantly this report will show the outstanding debt exactly as it was at that month specified. So new invoices or credits raised, payments received and allocated would all be omitted from the report so the data on the report is the same as if the report had been run at that time. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short video on retrospective age debtor and creditor reporting which will be coming soon into the next release of Opera 3.